Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have a Noreen's Kitchen Basic. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare and butterfly a chicken breast so that you can pound it out and use it as like a chicken roll up or chicken cutlet or something like that. I've already prepared five of them for the recipe that I'm going to be doing and I saved my last one to share with you. So when you get your chicken breasts, sometimes they're kind of large and they also need to be trimmed. I like to trim judiciously. I like to take as much of the ugly fatty pieces off that they like to leave on because you know that that adds a little bit of money for them and if there's a membrane then go ahead and get rid of that as well I like to turn it over and see if there's any questionable bits on the back side that I don't want um, in my dish see like this here I don't I like to get rid of that it looks like there's like a, a little piece that I don't want in there yeah it's tissue from the chicken it's it's kind of going to happen. So what you want to do is turn it so the pointy end is away from you at the top and then the curved part is below you. Now this is going to fit your, the palm of your hand. Just lay it right on top. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fillet this and we're going to butterfly it. So what you're going to do is in the thickest part kind of judge what about halfway is. So if you look at the thickest part here, you're going to about halfway, you're going to eyeball it. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it. And I'm going to take my very sharp knife and I'm just going to come in here like this. And then I'm going to not cut all the way through. And then I'm going to come down here and make a couple of cuts without cutting it all the way through. And then you're going to lie it flat. So you see what it looks like on this side and then what it looks like on this side. I'm going to set my knife aside and I have just a plastic bag, like a plastic freezer storage bag that I have cut open and I'm going to lay that on the top right here and then I have if you have a meat mallet that's great but I can't find mine right now and I really don't like my wooden meat mallet so I'm just going to use this little cast iron sandwich skillet that I have because it's got a little bit of weight to it and it covers a lot of area. So now we're going to make some noise. We're going to give this a few good whacks and we're going to flatten it out a little and we're going to break down some of this muscle tissue on the chicken breast and we're going to make it a little bit thinner and easier to roll up. And when you pound it, Pound it and kind of push out. You just want to smooth it out a little and break down that tissue just a little bit more until it's thin. If you have a little piece here like this, don't worry about it because it'll work out fine. Now your chicken breasts are ready to do a roll up or like a, a chicken cordon bleu or a spinach roll up or anything you want to do with the chicken. You can also go ahead and bread these and fry them and serve them as a traditional chicken cutlet or prepare them for a chicken parmesan. Hope that you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this kitchen basic today. If you have other kitchen basics that you might like to see me do, maybe there are things that you've seen other people do or you've seen something or you've ordered something in a restaurant you really weren't quite sure how they did it, maybe it's something that we can cover in our basic series. So leave a comment down below with any questions you might have and I might be able to incorporate that into a future video. If you like today's video, I hope that you'll consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're not already, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button right there so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today and I hope that you learned how to butterfly and cutlet a chicken breast if you didn't already know how. I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. We're gonna be adding all of these other things in here. And it's gonna cook for like 15 minutes until this macaroni is ready. So what I wanna do is throw the macaroni in there and give it a good turn. You kinda of wanna to toss this in here and get that macaroni coated in some of those good pan drippings 
because this will help keep everything nice and separate and they won't want to.